questions were actually a bit twisted from what I expected but I was able to get a score of about 890 something if I am yeah, about that I pretty much believed that I would have gotten more than that score but I didn't bother going back you know going over my exam I just submitted after I was done one thing I noticed about the Azure fundamental it's all about the features in Azure so you need to know where what feature is where to find what feature if you want to do so and so where can you find this what tabs can you can find different features <laughs> sharing with you guys how I was able to pass my AZ900 which is also known as the Azure Cloud Fundamental Examination um, by the Microsoft company. It's actually an, an, an exam by Microsoft company for their cloud platform called the Azure platform which is a cloud computing platform where you can build, manage and deploy application on a very large global um, network and this network is actually managed by Microsoft Data Center. Anyways, um, without further ado, I'm going to just go straight to the point and tell you guys exactly what I did to pass my AZ900. I see lots of content that talks about, you know, preparation for eight hours, five hours, and all that. Well, while that is possible, your question should be why am i taking this examination or why do i want to take this examination so once you get that out of the way once you're sure on why you want to take the examination then you should know if at all it has is enough for you to study for this examination so let's say you have um the azure 900 the AZ900 um, certification and you go for an interview and you're asked questions about the AZ900, the Azure Fundamental, maybe the pricing, maybe the cloud computing, maybe they ask you questions that have to do with um, the networking angle or the issue of IoT that is involved, will you be able to answer those questions? Then if, if your answer is yes, then you can go ahead and do the quick fix, fix by studying for the exams for eight hours. But if you know that after studying for eight hours, you will not be able to answer questions around the AZ900 examination, then you should certainly not take those tips that seriously. But that being said, I'm so happy to be doing this content because I know that a lot of people in Africa, in Nigeria, don't really have, um, don't really get to see content about how a fellow African or a fellow Nigerian have been able to pass some certain examination. I think I'm in a very good position to talk about this examination because I'm actually new to tech and I have been able to pass this exam. I mean, it could, it could sound very easy because it says fundamental, but trust me, like I always tell people by sort of um, um, peer mentor that it's really important for you to understand the skill of networking because it will help you so much along the way in tech. But not to scare you, you can actually, this exam according to Microsoft is for um, those who don't even have any tech skill at all. You don't need to be a techie, you don't need to have been in tech. So if you know nothing about technology, you can actually study for this examination and pass the examination. But it all depends on you and how much you can grab things very fast. According to Microsoft, this exam is only going to test you or it tests you on your fundamental um, knowledge of cloud service and how you're going to deploy this cloud service. Um, I did, when I was doing the practical, I did a little bit of website development just here and there. But trust me, these are knowledge I've had prior to um, starting, you know, to studying for this examination. So it's good if you, perhaps you have like knowledge in, you know, web development and all that little little knowledge here and there but if you don't have any of those knowledge if you really take your time to study for this examination you're going to pass the examination it's not that difficult but it's technical it's not that difficult but it's technical it actually needs your attention so if you know um if you really you know get things fast and you know how to be your technical i believe you're going to pass this examination so um, first and foremost, before I move on, if you are about to write this exam, do let me know in the comment section. If you've written this exam as well, do let me know how your experience was. Share your experience with us in the comment section. And um, if you, uh, you haven't heard about this exam before, 
and you are interested in tech welcome i'm going to give you all the tips you want and please do not forget to check out my other videos where i talk about my journey into tech who knows it might be of help to you and if you are not interested in tech at all it's okay you can go ahead and check out my other videos where i talk about self-development and i sometimes like to cook so just go ahead and um, knock yourself out with other videos but for today it's all about tech and it's all about how you can pass your az 900 azure cloud fundamental examination so the first domain you're learning is solutions and management tools in azure which is about 10 to 15 percent of your total score so you're, you should be able to demonstrate at least 10 percent of your knowledge in this domain and it will you know help to add to your score i think the passing the passing mark the passing score is about 700 over a thousand if i am not mistaken yeah it's 700 over a thousand so you need to get at least 10 to 15 percent of this um of this domain so what are you learning you're learning solutions and management tools in azure general security and network security features so i mean if you don't have any prior prior knowledge of networking i don't know how easy it's going to be for you because a lot of people kind of struggle in networking but like i said Microsoft already said that this exam is for both technical and non-technical people. That means they actually took their time to, to arrange the domains and the module and to really, really expand their, um, their teaching processes for people who don't have any technical knowledge to actually grasp what they are teaching. So, um, yeah, the second domain is about networking and network security. The third domain, which is like the biggest of it, is, is taking about 25 to 30 ma 30 percent of the um, chunk. It's about IT privacy and governance, and that is like really important in this examination. A lot of questions I got actually came from that domain, and um, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a domain that you have to pay attention to because a lot of things are quite confusing. This particular domain should definitely take. Um, time to study it so you know exactly where you can find what feature because one thing I noticed about the Azure Fundamental it's all about the features in Azure so you need to know where what feature is where to find what feature if you want to do so and so where can you find this what tabs can you can find different features so it's really important for you to know where you find different features and this particular domain it's actually really confusing because some of the features can be found in um, the security center other features can be found somewhere else but it will, it's a bit confusing so you should definitely take this domain seriously but the next domain is the cost and management service level um service level agreement or so that domain is actually another one that's a bit confusing so you need to take your time on that domain um the cost part can be confusing but it, but if you take your time on understanding the cost how azure do, does their costing then it will be very helpful it's also very important for you to know like what kind of um subscription allows people to do some kind of things on azure because you might have a certain subscription that doesn't allow for you to um have um um, some features enabled so you need to understand those costing pricing and subscription levels and um, i mean that will be very helpful how did i study for this examination i'm going to link um in the description box where i studied first and foremost a very important place to go and study like really put your energy it's at um on the microsoft lane um website so i will link it down below so just go to microsoft learn website then go to just search for az900 to bring it out and once you do that just follow every bit of it do not skip it take your time to study everything there there are some hands-on there are some sandboxes there are some they have some sandboxes they have some hands-on they have some questions that really help you to better understand each module as you move along it, it's just the best place for you to study i mean there is no two ways to it in fact i can actually stop this video at this point just go to the azure website and really really study um the azure um, az900 um, learning path and i mean that is really all you need but another thing is this right i will tell you the truth team wana on youtube really helped me so after studying for the az900 on the azure um the microsoft learn there are some things that were not quite clear to me the pricing wasn't quite clear to me 
the privacy part of it that has to do with governance and IT governance and privacy wasn't quite clear to me because of the way the things they were kind of twisted on the Azure, I mean Microsoft Learn. I'm not saying they didn't teach it properly, but I just needed another person's um, explaining. I needed someone else to do the explaining for me to quite understand what that um, domain was about. So I went on youtube to make my search and truth be told i saw a couple of people teaching about the az 900 how to pass the az 900 examination but nothing really stick or stuck as much as team wanna did so i followed the team wanna series and trust me it was very helpful i went all over i watched the team wanna series from the beginning to the end but very importantly the area of um um, IC governance and then the costs management and the storage as well was quite helpful from Tijuana I was able to understand a lot about blob storage and other storage um, other storage techniques Tijuana really helped me understand those better so that's like my that was like that's like my plug when it comes to AZ 900 um, sorry I didn't start from Tijuana in the beginning if there are two things I want you to take from this particular um, conversation is that one you have to learn from the Microsoft um, um, Learn on the Microsoft Learn website number two you have to go and look for Tijuana on YouTube I'm also, I'm also I'm, I am also going to link his channel in the description box down below and you can check up here as well you see it and um, those are the two things I used to study for the Microsoft AZ900 Cloud Fundamental Examination and I took my time. I didn't do it for 8 hours, I didn't do it for 10 hours, I didn't do it for one week. I took at least 2-3 um, weeks to study for it and then um, approximately let's say a month to 6 weeks. Um, to study for it and I was able to pass the examination. The day I actually wrote the exam, I didn't quite, I wasn't quite sure. I just took the, t the date as a tentative date. But um, when once it was time, I was like, okay, I've studied enough. Let me just go write the examination. So now, um, the exam has um, three different kinds of questions. One is multiple choice question, MCQ. The second one is a drag and drop sort of question where you have some things they want you to arrange it in a proper um, way it should be. Number three, it has some graphical um, questions as well. Some graphical answers as well. So those were the three formats the examination questions came in so be prepared and the exam is actually about 60 minutes but just keep in mind that it's going to take you like 90 minutes because you have to like i actually took exams online via the person view so i took it via person view person view person view person view okay so i actually took my exam with person view and i um, did it online so i gave an ample time of 90 minutes and the exam lasted for like about 60 minutes but i had to be there earlier before the exam time to get myself prepared like they had the proctor the online proctor that will you know bring you in and then ask you to scan your environment to be sure that you don't have anything that will compromise the exam in your environment so i scanned my table scanned the back the front the side and all that and then i also tendered my um id my id which was my i think my international passport you know they verified my document before i was allowed to take the examination i actually took the exam for less than 40 minutes I it was very fast for me in 30 minutes i was done with the exam i think there about I, I know it was quite fast for me and the questions were actually a bit twisted from what i expected but i was able to get a score of about 890 something if i am um, yeah about that okay so this exam i took it in 2020 october no 2020 august and it's quite a while now it's been six months and so many things have not much have changed but i know that they always have this little little touch to some examination i don't know if az900 have gotten like a new upgrade but it doesn't really change it's almost always the same thing just a few domain might just have a little changes here and there or maybe they just add one line to the domain and that is about that's that's about it so guys um what else what else do i have to share with you guys so um go ahead go to google search for maybe 
go ahead and search for EZ900 practice questions. It's quite helpful. You are not going to see exactly the same thing in the exam, most likely, but it's very helpful. So just go to Google and search for EZ900 practice question, and you might just be lucky to find practice questions that are very, very close um close to what you might see in the exam but not the same thing it's always going to be different but just use those practice questions because they will really help you and if you are in nigeria or you're in any african country and you are just trying to start a career in tech please i would like to join my community i'm going to link it in the description box down below so we can get to talk and mentor each other on how you can actually accelerate your journey into cyber security or any other part of tech i am very much interested in those who want to move into cyber security and um, information um, and data protection generally so if you are one of those do join my community and let's connect it will be really good to have you and have to talk to you one on one like i said if you want to study for eight hours i don't quite have such tip i have a tip that would you know make to study for a while and understand what you're studying so when you go in for the exam you're very confident about what you're going to be going in for and um if you are a perhaps you actually you're, you're a professional that have been in the industry for a long time it might be easy for you, you might actually do maybe a week study eight hour study depending on how much time you have for each of your study period and um who knows you'll be able to do you know to go, go into the exams in less than three days yeah so that's it for me guys i wanted this to be as short as possible i hope it is thank you so much for watching and go ahead and check out my other videos it's gonna pop up here and i hope to see you in my next video thanks and bye